Hello Capricorn viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, whatever the cards want to say. So this video will probably be shorter than most of my videos. Please just bear with me. I'll be back to my regular schedule on the 15th. As always, though, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. I want to cuddle with you. Okay, so they're in a very romantic, cuddly space right now. I regret what I've said to you. So there might be a distance between you two, and the, the distance is kind of hurting them. You know, maybe, and it's like they can't tell if you're interested. They're bad at picking up hints is what it says. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I feel like you're out of my league. You're too good for me. I feel nervous and shy around you. This almost feels like someone who like downgraded, whether this is like an ex or just someone who like, it just feels like someone who kind of downgraded. Like they thought that you were too good for them. So they dated these other people. They dated toxic or abusive people thinking that was what they deserved. And it's like they just feel like you're too good for them. They're not sure. It's like they have this kind of shyness and insecurity. And they might have pushed you away because they just weren't used to you. You know, but they're wanting to cuddle with you. I do feel like they, yeah, you come off as uninterested and detached. I honestly feel like this is them doing it that to themselves, though. Like, I feel like this is their own insecurities. I don't think it's necessarily your fault. And then fantasizing about you sexually. You're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it just feels easier to live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. Yeah, it's like they keep dreaming about you. They keep missing you, but it's like they tell themselves that you're just too good for them. Like they, like they can't have any more than what they're used to kind of energy. Eight of Swords energy here. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful, and it's inspiring me to open up to you. So it's kind of like a, like a puppy slowly coming towards you, like a stray, a stray dog. That sounds weird, I know, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I just saw two, two, two as well. <laughs> I can't handle being apart from you any longer. It reminds me of that meme, was it? It's like, she deserved better, but I couldn't stand losing her, so I became better. And it could be male or female, but it kind of reminds me of that energy. Like, this person does think that you're too good for them. This person is not used to you. I feel like this person's exes are, like, abusive or they're, um, I'm getting they're not as physically as attractive as you either. Um, like, men like, they just don't compare to you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like, they're just not on your level. Um, and that's what they, they had like this, this idea of what love was. Like they thought that, you know, codependency was love. They thought this toxicity was love and you showed them something different. And, you know, I feel like they really don't feel like they're good enough for you. I feel like they're not, I don't even know if it's not good enough for you, but I think it's more like they're not used to it. Like they, like you kind of changed their whole paradigm. Like you changed their perspective on love. So now they have to sit and do shadow work and, and develop this new perspective on what love is. You know what I mean? Like if they had been in all these codependent, toxic relationships for years and years and years, you know, one after another, and then you come along and you're just strong and confident and you communicate with them in a different way than people, than other people communicated with them, you know, you love in a different way. You're just like, your, your mind is very unique is what I'm getting. Like you're very creative. You're very spiritual. You're very empathic, you know, and you kind of rubbed off on this person where you taught them to open themselves up. You know, you, you inspire this person to open up to you and open up to the world in general. And so now they're, they're, you know, you've inspired them to change. Now they're thinking about their views on love and they're like, wait a second. Like, I, all this time I thought what I was, the people I was with, I thought that was love, but wait a second, that wasn't love, that was codependency, that was, you know, that was toxicity, that was familiarity, that wasn't true love, and so now they're, you know, they're, they're changing for you is what I'm getting, they're actually trying to change, not, not just for you, but for themselves more than anything, it's like, you gave them a taste of, you know, what true love, um, what true love looks like. Like you gave them that like 
like you show them a glimpse of what their life could be like, you know what I mean? Like maybe they hadn't traveled and you kind of open them up to traveling or open them up to adventure or to art or creativity or just putting themselves out there. I just feel like you rubbed off on this person and now they want to go down a different path than what they originally planned for themselves. You know, it's like they want to open themselves up. They want to have a different life than what they originally thought they were going to have. Um, so it does feel like even though they do feel like you're above them, they, they want to better themselves so that they can meet you halfway. You hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. I communicate with you through songs and movies. So this person could be telepathically channeling through these, through characters, through songs on the radio, you know, giving you messages basically. What is that? I don't know what that is. There's someone new coming into your life. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. Hmm. I'm hearing cascade in my head. <laughs> I love you. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to leave, take leave of faith for you. Yeah, because like normally when I pick up this energy, I'm usually like, eh, like, because I mean, this is this is common in readings. And a lot of times when I pick up this energy, I'm like, eh, you could do better. But like, I really like this energy, actually, because even though this person is scared and insecure, it seems like they're actually, you know, they're open. It seems like, like, yeah, you probably do have more life experience in this person. You're probably more adventurous and more spontaneous and free spirited and outgoing um, than this person is, but I, I really love this person's innocence and their curiosity and their openness. It's like this person is eager and willing to learn. This is someone that's mature enough to change themselves to, you know, they're starting to be able to admit when they're wrong. It's like they want to see the world through your eyes. They want you know, it's like you have this beautiful approach to life or you just see things in such a unique, creative way and they they want to be like you. They want that perspective for themselves, you know? It's like they are afraid of getting hurt, so, but they're willing to take that leap of faith for you. It's like they want to, you know, you've opened them up, so they want to, they want to see what else the world has to offer, you know, with you. They want to return. They want to be with you now. They do want to reach out. They're just searching for the right words to say. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. You have multiple potential life partners. Your energy is magnetic. I'm going through a rebirthing process and a psychic awakening. So yeah, you have more than one option here. Sometimes I cry over you. This person really... It's like this person wants to do right by you. This person is damaged. They're scared to open their heart, but they really, you know, they've been numb. They've been busy. You know, they're stressed, and sometimes they just break down and just miss you and just get nostalgic and cry over you. And, you know, they feel you pulling away. They didn't realize what they had until it was gone. Part of them wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere. You know, it's like they want to fix this. They've daydreamed about what it'd be like to be married to you. And some of them are afraid that you're moving on. So it's like they they don't want to see you with anybody else. They know that someone else is going to come in and marry you and, you know, wife or husband you up if they don't do it soon. So they want to better themselves for you so they can give you a solid love offer. So that's the energy I'm getting. Um, as always, you know, if you want a private reading, just email me. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.